Here is a self-assessment test for you to determine if your foot is pronated or supinated. Supinated is soup, please. Soup. Or if it's neutral. So let's take a picture, get, set your timer up, or have somebody snap a picture directly behind your ankle, capturing from here to here. Now, here's what you're going to test for. If your foot is supinated, foot soups like this, you're going to see more of the outside ankle bone here. The big toe might be lifted off of the ground. This person is more prone to rolling their ankle, to having knee pain on the outside of the knee. Now, you may find that you're pronated, which is inward. You're going to see a bow, like a like a bow in the Achilles right here, more of the ankle bone here. This person, you, are more prone to plantar fasciitis, meniscus tear over here. So the goal is to put it in the middle. So if you found that you were supinated like this, what is occurring is you generally have a weak arch and you found that by resting your body weight on the bones gives you some uh, temporary support. So instead, what you're going to focus on doing is pushing your big toe into the ground, super tight, big toe into the ground, gripping the ground with your foot. Right. So as you're strengthening your arches and then watching yourself in the mirror, you're going to find that middle position. You're going to roll it in. Good. Supinate it out and find the middle. Bam. You're going to strive to maintain that and the completely opposite if you find you're pronated. You're going to keep that big toe pressed in the ground, stapled, and now you're going to try to lift your arch up by rotating the knee out. Your goal is to use your muscles to balance your foot.